Good morning. My name is Lilia, and today's options lesson is on the delta. Delta is one of four Greeks that affect the price of an option. Delta is the amount an option's price is expected to move based on a $1 change in the price of the underlying security. In this lesson, we're going to focus on how delta affects the price of a put option. Put options have a negative delta. This means that when the price of the underlying stock goes up, the price of the put option goes down. The opposite is also true. When the price of the underlying stock goes down, the price of the put option goes up. So how do we use this information when we're trading options? If you believe that a stock is going to drop, you will buy a put option. This means you have a long put. The trade will look like this. You buy a put option at a low price and hope to sell it later at a higher price. The difference between these two prices is your profit. On the other hand, if you believe that a stock is going to rise, you will sell a put option. This means you have a short put. The trade will look like this. You sell a put option at a high price and hope to buy it back later at a lower price. The difference between these two prices is your profit. Now let's take a look at an options chain in Thinkorswim. We're looking at the options chain for Boeing, ticker symbol BA. And we're going to focus on the options on the right-hand side. These are the put options. The options in this region are what we call in-the-money options. This means that the strike prices of these options are higher than the current price of the stock, which is 230. The options in this region are what we call out-of-the-money options, which means that their strike prices are lower than the current price of the stock. I want you to focus on the numbers in this column. This is the delta column. And I want you to notice that the out-of-the-money put options have a much smaller delta than the in-the-money put options. So as I start going up in this direction, the strike prices are getting larger. So that means they are approaching the current price of the stock, which is 230. So keep looking at these delta numbers. And notice that as we get closer and closer to 230, these delta numbers rise. As the strike price gets larger and larger, we are now going deeper in the money. So notice that these delta numbers are getting larger and larger. So deep in the money put options have a delta of almost 1, which means that if the stock moves $1, the price of these options will move almost $1. So how do we put this in practice? Once you understand how the delta affects the put prices, this will help you in your selection of options, whether you're buying puts or selling puts. Let's suppose that you are bullish on Boeing and you're going to sell to open a put option. If you sell a put option that is far, far out of the money with a very low probability of being in the money at the end, you're almost guaranteed success. However, also notice that your delta is pretty much zero, which means that your put premiums are not going to be changing much even if the stock price is shooting up higher and higher every day. This put option is currently trading between $0.04 cents and $0.05. Cents. It has a probability of being in the money of only 
These options expire on June 19. There are 11 days left. I currently have this short put open in my account. This was done a while ago. But notice that this is a June 19 expiration put option with a straight price of 90. That's this option right here. The delta is zero. Today, June 8, Boeing the stock rose $33, which is huge. But notice how little my profit changed for today. It only rose $1.50. That's because the premium of my put option dropped 0 0.015 cents only. And this is the result of a small delta. So if you're selling put options with a small delta, expect to see a very small change in your profit, even if the stock is moving up a lot each day. So in terms of option selection, you have to decide, do you want to sell a put option with a lower delta or a higher delta? Of course, if you sell a put option with a higher delta and the stock starts dropping, that higher delta is going to be bad for you. Because again, the delta measures how much your put option price is going to change for every $1 change in the underlying stock. So if you have a short option, a short put option with a high delta, and the stock drops a lot, you're going to see bigger and bigger losses in your trade. So you always have to take that into consideration. Usually when I'm selling put options, I look at the probability ITM number, and I like to sell put options with a probability ITM of somewhere between 20% and 30%. So in this case, it corresponds to a delta of 14 cents to 22 cents. At the bottom of this page, you can see another Boeing trade that I have in my account. This is a July 10 expiration, 147 strike price. This is also a short put option. So notice that the strike price of this put option is much higher than the first one. The first one was a $90 straight price. This one is a little bit closer to the money and therefore it will have a higher delta. So here's this position. The delta is three cents, which of course it doesn't sound like much, but if the stock moves over $33 in one day, that translates into a profit of $116 in one day compared to the first trade whose profit changed only by a dollar and fifty cents. So let's review these deltas again. Put options have negative deltas. So if the stock rises, the put premiums or prices will drop. If the stock drops, these put premiums will rise. The deltas are listed as a decimal number. So a delta of 35 cents means that if the stock rises by $1, the price of these puts will drop by 35 cents theoretically. For one contract, that is a drop of $35. If you go in the money, for example, this option, it has a delta of 0 0.60. So this means that if the stock rises by $1, this option price will theoretically drop by 60 cents. On the other hand, if this stock drops by $1, this put premium will theoretically rise by 60 cents. Thank you for watching, and many thanks to my Patreon members for making this video possible.